On February 25th, 2015, Caitlin McNeil sparked a conversation on the internet that turned into wildfire. While performing at a wedding earlier that month, McNeil saw a dress that completely rocked her world and would later on start an entire internet phenomenon. While performing at the wedding, McNeil was asked to put input into a debate that was bewildering the entire wedding party. The mother of the bride, Cecilia Bleasdale, was clearly wearing a black and blue dress. But when she held up a picture she had taken earlier that day, she saw a white and gold dress. Confused and a little bit concerned, Bleasdale showed the picture to the rest of the wedding party. Interestingly enough, other members of the wedding parties were having the same issues. Part of the wedding party was seeing the dress as white and gold, and the other half was seeing it as blue and black. This dress hit the internet like a storm, causing havoc everywhere it went. The dress was everywhere. Major news agencies, Reddit, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you looked, you just couldn't get away. I remember the first time I saw the dress. I was bored and tired, laying in bed, scrolling through my favorite website, when BAM! I saw it in the middle of my BuzzFeed app. What colors are this dress? Confused about how there can be a discussion on the color of the dress, I clicked it. It is clearly blue and black. Is this some joke? I scrolled down and pressed the button, and what do I find? Some people actually view this as black and blue. I quickly copy the link and send it to everyone I care about, friends and family, and ask them what they see. Yet everyone gives me a separate answer. I was just as confused as when I started. I wanted to forget about it, but BuzzFeed would not let it go. In a span of six days, they posted six different articles, all pertaining to the same dress. I was tired of hearing about the dress, but since all the articles were so different, I found myself making myself read each and every one of them. They created fun polls, gave background information, and even researched scientific explanations for a phenomenon that no one really quite understood. Everything I could ask about the dress was answered by BuzzFeed. I wanted to let go of this dress, but BuzzFeed just kept pulling me back in. And then it hit me. This is how BuzzFeed works. This is how BuzzFeed has turned itself into a multi-million dollar company. BuzzFeed works because it covers every bit of information you could want. If you want the top news articles of the days, they have them. If you want to laugh, they have jokes. Even if you just want to geek out, they even have articles personalized for you. They literally have everything you could want or need. The way BuzzFeed portrayed the entire dress phenomenon is a perfect example of the appeal of BuzzFeed. The articles are written by young and knowledgeable journalists who find a clear-cut way of informing their audience in a fun, quirky, and short way. The mass majority of BuzzFeed articles can be read in a total of three minutes, have lots of pictures, and are extremely comical. On the other hand, the other articles are serious news articles that simplifies hard-hitting news into a quick and easy read for people of all ages. In our modern and technologically driven society, we are used to getting everything we want and need with a click of a button. And this is exactly what BuzzFeed offers us. Quality, interesting, and short reads all just one click away from each other.